What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, just like the thumbnail says guys, we're going to be talking about how to get more kills. Basically, we're going to be trying to manipulate the spawn points and showing you how to ultimately get more kills by just going where the high traffic areas are. Areas where you're going to get into a lot of battles. So topic at hand, spawn points. How do they work and how can you use them to your advantage? Ask yourself these questions first. Have you ever been killed right off spawn? Have you ever been, you know, when you spawn in, have you already been surrounded by enemies? Have you spawned in and died from the same super that just killed you? Or, late, you know, lastly, have you been kept in spawn, spawn trap, where it seems like you're stuck at the same spawning, you know, spawning point over and over and over? Well, in this video, we're going to explain why this happens and how you can use this to your advantage. If you are a team of four and you're going into comp, there is a part in this video that will show you how to spawn trap on certain maps. And if you actually take your time to learn it, you can learn how to spawn trap in almost every map because the spawning system is very simple in Destiny 2. Now, I don't want to get away from the point that I use these spawn, you know, spawn points to my advantage. If I'm a sniper, I'm going to use these to my advantage to where I'm able to get snipes off or already start focusing down range or down certain lanes when I know people are going to spawn there. Second of all, I already know where to position myself to get kills. Why? Because I took time to learn these spawn points and use them to my advantage. Shout out to the guys at Crucible Radio and the guy who designs their maps. If you haven't stopped by their podcast, guys, check it out. Link in the description. Link in the description to their website where you can find every map. These guys killed it. If you see this right here, if you want to know callouts in any map, this is your place to be. You're, maybe you're calling it the donkey wheel when it's actually called the upside don donkey wheel. Doesn't really matter, guys. All the names are going to be on here. So shout out to these guys. Go check them out. Twitter and description, all that good stuff. So today we're going to be focusing on three different maps. It's going to be more maps than gameplay, guys, but I hope, really hope you enjoy. So three different maps, which are going to be Wormhaven, Dead Cliffs, and Javelin 4. And we're going to be talking about everything about them. So getting into the first one, guys, is going to be Wormhaven. It used to be PS4 exclusive. Now it's not. So I like to think of the maps as very simple. Spawn points. Yes, I know there's five X's on each. Doesn't really matter. But look, boom, draw a line in the center. You all started fighting, right? Start engaging. Blue comes up to a... Slowly engaging. I'm going to switch up the map right now and you'll see how it's supposed to look, you know, when, you know, you start getting engagements. As you can tell there, on A, there are less people there. Blue team has spawned up the hoy. Maybe you're a blue team. At this moment, you do not pop a super because you're not going to benefit at all from it. If you are the guy right by heavy or in the middle pillar right by that line, don't pop your super. What you should be doing, you should be doing, this is what I do all the time, find a good lane. As you can see in this next scene, greens. Those are the people you want to focus on. And when I say the greens right there is because that's a point. You There's no need for three people to all spawn up on these two guys that are split, you know, split spawn already. Because why? Their teammates are going to come up behind you while you're all focused on them and start getting the advantage on you. So if you're in green here, look at what's going to happen. Boom. Where do you start aiming down sights? Right there. That's where you should be focusing. If you are a sniper, these are lanes you should be hitting. These are lanes you should be focusing on only because this will allow you to get the upper hand on the enemies right off of spawn and not only that if you pop a super you have the ability to start getting all of them off spawn kill them there and you're going to flip the spawn and once again the only downfall on drawback is once the spawns are all over the place there has been instances where you will spawn next to an enemy at this moment it's because the map is all over the place and the spawn system doesn't understand what it should be doing next so like i said the map think of it as cut in the center and that's the way it's always played your teammates have icons above their heads and you can see what side of the map is heavy with teammates or what side of the map has no teammates. Use that to your advantage. No teammates, more than likely, that's where they're gonna be spawning or they're already at. The next map we're looking at, guys, is going to be Javelin 4. So I'm gonna put up on map the way it's supposed to look as, as, as soon as you spawn in. You're gonna see it just like this. Again, use it to your advantage. Cut it down the middle, right? Just the way I did it. When you spawn in, keep in, keep in mind this is where I spawned in. So this is a spawn point. The next time you play that map, maybe spawn on the other side. That is a major spawn point, A and B. You know, think of it just like that. Like this map, for instance, is going to be A and C. Now, when you start creeping up over, your teammates start, you know, corralling them, taking them down. Again, keep in mind, you do not want to use a super. And this is what I like to think of, like calling it as a spawn prep. You want to start prepping for the next spawns. And this is how you can steamroll teams. This is how you can catch enemies off spawn. And it is frustrating for them when you can start killing them off of spawn this is a great advantage for you and a great way to get more kills 
Why? Because you're not fighting your teammates for kills. You're, you're catching these guardians with their pants down. Looking at the way it's going to look again. Boom. How do you spawn prep on this? If I'm up on that pillar, there's no need for me to go down there and engage. I'm going to turn around. Why? Because when my teammates finish those people off in A, more than likely they're going to spawn up at C or inside by the stair area by C. That moment you're able to start priming them with grenades you're able to start aiming down sites with lanes or just anything pop your super you got a dawn blade go in there and start slaying them this is what i always try to do this is why i like this i like to see it as like this you want to keep in mind where your teammates are positioned and how many people have just died in the game look down at that little icon at the bottom there the feed death 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 you see all your teammates there more than likely there you just wipe the team again guys use this to your advantage i'm telling you like if you get good at this you could utilize this so well that you will steamroll teams left and right and the thing is about this is if you're playing competitive the maps are the same the maps are the same and you could use this like i said to your advantage now if you're a team of four this is what i recommend the next map we're going to be looking at is dead cliffs one of the most notorious maps for spawn trapping now, i'm going to explain why you can spawn trap on it and how you can keep the spawn trapping to your advantage now this is something i've brought up many times in the past because it is terrible when you're in that spawn trap now again dead cliffs how does it spawn in how do the basic spawns look where does it cut down the center right there this is dead cliffs right here guys power ammo's there you got a spawn with the red x's and blue spawn you know or b c spawn with the blue x's and this is the way it's going to be regardless if you're playing survival regardless if you're playing control regardless if you're playing con uh, clash it is going to be like this so the first thing we're going to look at guys is overall spawn trapping how do you spawn trap on this map it's very simple see that line as long as your teammates don't cross that line you have corralled the red x's in that area there that area is notorious for spawn trapping you can never get out of there and i'm gonna, I'm gonna just, you know represent it right here on the screen here. i'm gonna pop it up look right there if you can stay right there and keep them in that spawn you will have one of the easiest victories ever if you are a team of four going into comp you can keep a team back there and what does this allow you to do it allows you to pick up power ammo over and over and over and over again and it allows you just to super them pick up orbs and do it over again as long as you don't cross all the way into that line because once that side gets too heavy the teammates will start spawning up on the other side and, we'll, and i'm going to display it when it looks like you know what happens when it gets too heavy so this is the way it's going to look when it gets way too heavy on that map and i'm going to show you spawn prepping what you should be doing when you notice there's too many teammates on the side how am i going to prep for this next thing this is the way it's going to look guys now as you can tell very simple you can start priming them with grenades and just corralling them back there so you can throw them back into the original spawn now does this always work of course not there are flaws in the system again there have been times when people spawn next to people sometimes i've seen enemies spawn on top of me but for the majority of spawning this always works I would go over more maps, but I don't want this video to be too long. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just love utilizing things like this, putting this into my tool, you know, my tool belt and utilizing this. Again, used properly, you guys can achieve more kills in the Crucible by knowing spawn points, by utilizing this. You know, you don't have to, you know, corral one section of the map when there's four of you there and going after one person. No, flip around. Start aiming down sights with your sniper. Start rushing them in there with a the super. Maybe you have a golden gun. You, you can kill all six people right off of the spawn. This is how it's going to help you guys and benefit overall. If you guys enjoyed videos like this, let me know down in the comment section. Brave, I want to see more tip videos like this. I've been focusing on tip videos and it's been great. I have more videos to come, so hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, did you enjoy the video? Click right there for a random video. Click right there for my latest video. Stay up to date with BraveX Hero. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, I recommend it. Go do it right now. Twitch.tv slash BraveX Hero. New to the channel? Subscribe button right there. Click it. Do it. Do it now. I'll see you guys in the next video.